My fellow citizens, my dear subjects, a happy Christmas to one and all. This is my first Christmas message as your king. The last king to speak to you was my grandfather, George VI, and he did so when the British Empire seemed to be eternal, when there were almost no people of colour living in Britain and none marrying into the royal family. My dear mother grew up in that world, and I think she made enormous steps to adapt to the changes over the last seven decades. Like her great predecessor's queen, Queen Victoria, she married a European immigrant. In the case of Queen Victoria, he came from Germany. And for my mother, my beloved late father, he came from Greece to become my father. I'm a proud, I am proud that I am a quarter European. Now I want the monarchy to go further and seek as it was at the beginning of my mother's reign and the years that followed, to become a young monarchy again, not an old one, asking everyone now and then, where do you come from? Next year I will be 75, three score and ten, the biblical lifespan of a man. I hope to live until the same age as my mother and my father, and I'm happy to lead a contented life with my second wife. But Britain... Our country needs new leadership from top to bottom. So next year, in consultation with Parliament and with you all, I will seek to quietly retire and let a new generation take over. Prince William and Prince Harry are ready, in my view, oh. to take over. I do not want them or Prince George to wait until they are old, over 60-year-old men, before Prince William serves his country as monarch. I will also seek to rejuvenate the royal family. There'll be no more dukedoms and other titles handed down during generations just by the chance of being born to a parent with some link to a long forgotten third or fourth son or daughter of a monarch. The luxury, grace and favour houses and apartments will be put at the service of the people. For traditionalists, and I respect tradition as much as the next person. This may come as a shock, but the current old thinking that governs our country needs to change, and I hope a younger, rejuvenated monarchy can show the way forward. I count on your support as I try to make the monarchy fit for the 21st century and a Britain that can get back on its feet after recent years.